three parameters I find myself using all the time in mid-journey for architectural renders. The remix parameter, the aspect parameter, and the stylized parameter. If you have never used mid-journey before, there's a link right up there to a mid-journey video that I created recently for beginners. And with no further ado, I mean, let's go ahead and jump right in. This is gonna be a very quick step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm gonna create a new image for us to work with. So I'm gonna do slash imagine. And now I'm gonna give it a list of words that I want the final image to portray. And sometimes if I'm using a lot of adjectives, I like to throw in architecture, exterior. So this is the image that it spit out. The one that I like the most is this top right one, but I wanna change it a little bit. I wanna see if I can clear it up and make it look more like a building or something that can be more easily occupied. So to do that, we're gonna run a remix command, which will allow us to edit our original prompt. Type in slash prefer remix. So now remix mode is turned on. Let's go up to our image and I wanna make a variation of the second one. So I'm gonna click V2. And now it's giving me the option to edit the prompt. I'm gonna do comma with people walking around. This is a new image that it rendered out for me. Let's look at some of the other settings that we can play with. Type in slash settings, press enter. Here you can see quite a few that you can play with. MJ version one, two, three, four, and five. That's just referring to which version of mid journey you'd like to use. Right now, mid journey version five is out. So you can click that and rerun your prompt or run a new prompt if you would like. We're gonna skip over these three here. Right below it, you have half quality, base quality, and high quality. And then you can also choose how stylized it is. Style low, medium, high, or very high. And then below it, you can see your public mode, stealth mode, remix, fast, and relax mode. I recommend leaving it on fast mode, relax mode. There's not much of a change there. And remix mode is on because that's what we did earlier when we typed slash prefer remix. I'm gonna go ahead and turn remix mode off right now. And the great thing about the settings is you can actually edit them by just typing them in with your original prompt. In the description below, I put a link to the Midjourney website that gives you a full list of parameters that you can use as well. Now let's create one more image using some of the cool parameters that we just learned about. The two that I wanna use is stylized. I wanna kick that up to 500. The default is at 100 and the max it can go to is 1000. And on top of that, I wanna change the aspect ratio to two to one instead of the default one to one. This will make it a landscape image. dash dash s for style and i'm going to put 500 and then dash dash ar for aspect ratio and let's do two to one and this is a really cool image that it put out i highly recommend checking out the parameters list that i have linked in the description below over there are two videos that i think you'll really enjoy if you like the video please like the video and subscribe down below if you want to see future content just like this if you want to support the channel further i have a patreon right next to me are a list of patrons from patreon if you're interested in that check out the link in the description below but regardless thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next video